That's right, and we are here at St. Stephen's Church, and the reason this location was chosen for the rally is because the church uses solar energy. There are solar panels on the roof of this building. Uh, people that were out here today include uh, different environmental advocates as well as not people that are part of nonprofits, uh, as well as the pastor of this church. So here's some of what was said today. It's getting hotter and hotter here in San Diego where we pay the highest energy rates in the nation. Without rooftop solar, we have no other options than to pay for expensive energy that's making fossil fuel companies and their shareholders a lot of money. Take advantage of the and there were several speakers out here today. The rally filled up the front lawn of this church. Uh, people brought solar panel signs, clean energy signs. Now, the latest proposal going before the California Public Utilities Commission includes removing a proposed $8 per kilowatt monthly fixed charge, a so-called solar tax on new residential systems. Now, the group out here today is in favor of that. However, it is against reducing utilities payments to homeowners for excess power they sell by as much as 75 percent compared to current rates. Now, that only applies to new customers. It would not affect people with existing solar systems. But the group here says slashing those payments will make solar less affordable for customers, which then means fewer people will want to get rooftop solar, which they believe will then slow down the growth of solar across the state. We don't think that it's dramatic to say that we think rooftop solar across the nation will stop. California has clean energy goals, so luckily we will still meet those goals, but other states don't. And uh, if California passes a policy like this, we believe that other states will follow. Now, the solar or the uh, power companies, I should say, the utility companies aren't necessarily on board with this proposal either. They say that uh, solar customers aren't paying their fair share uh, for delivering electricity or for maintaining the power grid. They say that is unfairly burdening uh, people who don't have solar. Heather and Carlo. Uh, Kelly, what is the timeline on all of this? And as far as the Public Utilities Commission, when are they going to vote? So this is a five person board and they have uh, for a couple of weeks to make a decision that vote is scheduled for December 15th. Now, if it does pass, uh, the new rules will go into effect in April. Kelly Hestall reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.